super grip. Huh? Four four. Huh? Hit the mall, Margella, size four four. <laughs> Giorgio Armani with the mock neck, mock neck. What's up, world? This is Parky and Weeds, and welcome to episode seven of Certified Hustlers. On this week's episode, we got my man, the chairman. He has his own studio called The Green Room, and he has his own corner store. So if you don't know nothing about my man, the chairman, after this interview, you're definitely going to know who he is. We out. Streets need me, chairman. The chairman, man. Philly, baby. Arizona. Boss. We just got to get that paper, man. That's all, man. Only I'm going shit irrelevant, man. For real. Shout out to all my bosses and my big yeah. niggas, man. Heavy waiters, man. I can sip a little purple, I can pop a pill. My son got a roof and he ain't got a damn bill. What's up, world? This is Parky F. Weeze. On episode 7, we got my man, the chairman. No fleas on. Um, We're gonna let him tell you about what he got going on. To me, it's very interesting, man. I've never seen a, um, you know, a guy of my color, you know, with his own corner store. You know, on top of that, he got the, uh, got the studio and some other things he's doing. So, we want to um, get into it, man. Thanks for being on the show. Sure. Appreciate Thank it, bro. Me, bro. No problem, man. So, just let everybody know, um, how did you even, from the beginning, how did you even, you know, start with just, you know, with the music or just, you know, having your own uh, studio and your own store? <coughs> oh, that's, yeah, well, first of all, um, I'm Ninja the Chairman. I started off pretty much, took the music seriously down Bat Cave Studios. Right. Me Back and Rug, did. me and Rug, we um, worked on all my projects together. And um, I worked with pretty much every artist in Philadelphia. Right. And as uh, far as the store, I had the store before rap. Right. I had the store like uh, probably like five, four or five years before rap. And it was basically an investment that I did. Um, you know, working on the street, you know, working as far as, you know, building myself, building my brain, you know what I mean? Because I'm, you know, I do different things other than uh, rap, you know, I do other investments. Can't turn back now, I'm a big guy. I know they're coming for me, I hope them pigs die. I'm connected with real niggas all over. So, Chairman, so, um, so who influenced you to get in the rap game, like, you know, um, what rap or was it rappers, you know, or just a certain era that influenced you to Actually, do what you're uh, doing? my big brother. Yeah, my big brother, Kenny. I, I, I grew up like a block away from Richard Allen Project. Uh -huh. He was a DJ, so he always battled like different cats in Richard Allen, right. different cats in Pentown, right. you know, Morocco's, you know, shit like that. So that pretty much influenced me. And then his like favorite artist was LL, right. Cool J. So then that was my favorite artist. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So you know that's how that came about, as far as the music right. thing. You know what I mean? And then you know, I eventually you know got into Nas and Pun and shit like that. That was dudes who inspired me. You know what I'm saying? And that's crazy you said it because I remember being a young boy. I grew up in Hill Creek Project up Adams Ave, and um, I remember walking around with my boombox, listening to L, um, the Beastie Boys. You know what I'm saying? All that back right. in the day. And, and they was like some of the dudes, you know, Run DMC, all them guys, my ideas and all that, you know, being a young boy, I can remember really, like from there it just took off, and I really knew about Def Jam back when I was a young boy, like, exactly. I really, really, like, the Crush Crush Groove and all that, you know, so it's just, we came from that time and that era. I know you can't resume, your man shook, you don't buy a song, cause you can't cook, can't cook, only meet the little drop in my bag, I was on the E-Way team in my bag, I shot him first. My man had the target, never get a roll in the diamonds at the market. Cherish the lows, the riders, the rolls. Only deal with the bosses and the real soldiers. Y'all niggas, cameramen, actors, and directors. This entertainment shit got your hype and I'm respected. You've been rapping all your life, I've been trapping mine. You bag your little work, I'm unwrapping mine. You tell a motherfucker you talk that lingo? He already know where to put you at in yeah, the hip hop right, right, world. Right. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was yeah. only a few of us yeah, that got our own lane right, to talk right, that lingo. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because everybody ain't coming to game in a drop top coupe, right, 50 right. on each wrist. Right, right. You know what I mean? I came in a game like that. I can't let it go. Streets can't let it go though. Streets need me. That's my lifestyle. Fuck 
you hit us. I got assassins in position. Fuck a bird. I seen Alaska in the kitchen. Anybody could just put away whatever you can put away. Or being away, I don't know fuck what it is. Right. Just discipline yourself and make sure you always put it away and then check up on it in like a year. Right. And then do something with that paper. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all. And that's free game right there, man. So oh, real right. Yeah, with that being said, man, Park Ave Weeze. My man right here, the chairman. Chairman 337, man. Hit me up on Instagram, man. You already know what it is, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Park Ave in the building, the Green Room Studios. Yes, sir. Yeah, Episode yeah. 7. Episode 7. Yeah. Niggas be real fake with a lot of hate I been in North Philly, boss, ain't no debate Chairman. Brotherly love, ain't feel it since the 90s At least 95 or 95, probably high 